In order to figure out one half of three, it might be helpful to change the of to a multiplication symbol. Because then we can multiply the numerator by the numerator and the denominator by the denominator. But to do that, let's think of three as just three over one. It's still three, but now we have a numerator and a denominator. Then we can figure out one half of three. So one times three, that's three. Two times one, that's two. So one half of one third, that's three halves. This is what we call an improper fraction. The top is bigger than the bottom. So let's change this to a mixed fraction. Two goes into three one time with one left over. So this is one and a half. Three halves is the same thing as one and a half. One times two, that's two, plus one, that would give us three, so three over two. So that's how you figure out one half of three. We end up with one and one half. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.